Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Actually, it's really like technically afternoon. I did shoot a video, but it kind of got caught up in something to where I have no idea. It's taking like an awful long time to load. So I decided to just scrap that one and do another one for you. Um, happy Friday, by the way. Yesterday was Thursday. It was a nice day. It really was. Today is kind of looking kind of blah outside. Even though it's not hot, it's, it's cool out. So that's a plus. But um, yesterday, Thursday was good. Went to the mall a little bit later than usual because I had the focus group study, which was going on at three o'clock. So I didn't want to stay all day at the at the mall. That's just get that gets boring and it's annoying. Um, and I usually never stay at the mall past three o'clock. <laughs> I'm usually home in my house probably about one thirty, maybe even two thirty, the latest, but never three o'clock. So, but the focus group went well. It was a study on yogurts, and it was real fun. It was only like 25 minutes. But before that, I went to play a few scratch-offs, and I played the $5 New Diamond 25-time scratch-off, New York State Lottery. Um, it's a $5 game. Match three of the symbols, and then you win the prize shown. Pretty easy. Um, hitting for on that on the $5 game for 20 bucks. So I was like, okay, this is good. Then I played the new dollar games, which is called 7 11 21. And you match a seven, you know, you get a seven in the game, and you win that prize amount. If you get an 11, you win double the prize amount. If you get the, the number 21, you get three times the amount. So on a dollar ticket, I was like, okay. So I took the $5 out of the $20 winnings, and I bought five of those tickets. Matching a seven, which was a such a weird amount. I was like, all right, this is cute. Winning $21 on a dollar scratch off game I said all right i'm ahead 41 bucks <laughs> so i never how i start the day off is that i play on my scratch offs is that i play um with money out of my pocket sometimes not sometimes it happens to be saved from another winning that i do so i take that money and i'll buy a scratch off and then i would continue from there one of the things, though, I do want to say, because somebody was asking me, he said, well, you spend a lot of money. I, no, I don't. See, that's just it. No, I don't. I use the winning money for playing a game. I would never have extra money coming out of my pocket. Okay? And you have to also know when to stop and walk away. If the tickets are just not doing what you think that they're supposed to do for you. You know what? Today is not your day. You get up, you walk away. Yesterday was a great day because I was ahead 41 bucks, okay? And the day before, which was Wednesday, as you see when I did my scratch-offs, the numbers on the three scratch-offs, I, you know, lost $15. However, you do have to understand, that is not 15 coming out of my money. That was $15 from the remaining monies that I had won a while back ago. So there's the trick. And sometimes it's easy for someone to do it. Sometimes it's hard. Me, it's easy because I don't play a lot. I don't. I play my daily numbers. And I'll play my daily numbers. I have it for yesterday and today, and the daily number didn't come out. So, you know, we try again, and that's $2 a day. So I only play maybe like two or three days at a time. So that's $6 for that three days. Okay. And the numbers come out midday and evening. So I have to wait until after 10 o'clock. Um, well, usually the number comes out here about 2.30, quarter to 3.00. And then tonight's number will come out about 10.30, quarter to 11 at night. Sometimes I'm already asleep, and so I'll check the number the next day. But uh, the numbers haven't been coming out for me. That's okay. But the scratch-offs are. And like I said, if it starts coming out of your pocket, I would suggest you really stop, because that's then it's just not for you. We all have our own special little games. We all have our favorite games to play, so that's pretty good. But the dollar ticket yesterday was like $21. I was like, wow. So I was ahead already at a $41 profit. Not bad. Then I had the survey, which took about 25 minutes. And then from there, I got paid another $40. So leaving the mall yesterday was like really, really a great experience. Because I was like 81 bucks ahead. $81 ahead. So the other $40 from my, from my winnings, that's my money to play on if I want. But then the other one, obviously, is my pocket money. So that's how I figured things out. And that's why it's it's good to have a um, a nice little budget, you know. So that's why I'm able to do the things I do. I'm very careful at the things I do, you know. Some days it doesn't work out. And then you know what? You say, okay, this ticket is not doing 
maybe I would try one more ticket and then I try another ticket. It's not winning. That's it. I'm done. And then basically if I do, like if I play a $5 ticket and I win my $5 back, think smarter. Take the $5 and walk. Save it for another day. You know, it's that simple. Um, I don't know how other lottery people, lottery friends do it. I don't know, but um, that's how I do it. Uh, finally got the bag out of the closet, my luggage. I reassessed everything, did purge some things, but then the other items that were new from this year had to be put into the bag. So those are all packed away for next year. I'll be taking that bag out one more time next year and I'll be washing everything before I'm finally packed and ready to go next year back down to Disney. Um, watch the new video of WDWNT. Things are happening and you know, things with the district down there. And I, I think that's funny because the, so they voted to lower the taxes, uh, property thing taxes. And then all of a sudden it was voted in yesterday that they went back up, um, stating that, you know, why are we lowering it for a Disney, you know, the Disney situation for their properties, they should be able to afford to pay the property taxes that we are asking for. I thought that was like real interesting. I thought it was really interesting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to put that video in the um, in my comments section down there, so you can watch WDWNT and about all that. And then they're talking about the merchandise, the Halloween party that's coming, the merchandise that's already down there. It's ridiculous. I mean, you're still sweating from summer, but then again, you're going to sweat from summer down there anyway, even with Halloween, even in November. <laughs> that's just the way it goes. Um, what else? That's really it. I just wanted to come on and say hi. Um, I'm posted. I'm going to post another video after this one goes up um, about the the luggage with the bag and the luggage. I already I already filmed that, but I want this one to go up first. You know, I do I do little things in order here. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Just wanted to stop by. Happy Happy Friday. Have a wonderful wonderful day. We are expecting. A little bit of rain here but I thought it was supposed to happen tonight like at about seven o'clock it's right now it's twelve thirty-three. I know I said good morning to you but it's twelve thirty-three in the afternoon just sitting here watching the show bar rescue I like this I like this show all right people god bless you love to all have a wonderful Friday evening take care talk to you soon bye-bye